Well, I'm a little late this morning, and I hope it's pretty chilly out in Tucson, Arizona. It's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, actually, earlier this morning was about around 20, so freezing temperature. For us, that's really, really cold. I know some of you, you guys are laughing at me. I think we are soft, but yeah, for us, this is really, really cold weather. So this morning, I'm going to, so I'm going to shout out to my friend in Las Vegas. Uh, I cannot pronounce her name properly, uh, Managoya. Anyway, I, I hope I'm saying her name properly. Uh, thank you to sending me from Las Vegas. So this is Sumatra, okay? So Sumatra is one of my favorite uh, coffee to drink, okay? Let's see who's in there. We got, we got LL Kure from UK there. I know we got Jamin, like always. Okay, so this is Sumatra from, here we go. It's called, a place called Mothership in Vegas. Let's see. Uh, roasted on December 3rd. Hold on a second. The coffee, hold on. I cannot read this one. Probably. Let's see here. They are washed. It's called Bolastic Espresso, okay? Bolastic Espresso. And uh, if this is not a Sumatra, I thought it was, but it's not. Let's uh, come from Peru, okay? Okay, I'm trying to, so whenever you buy brand new bag of coffee, especially, uh, especially specialty coffee, they give you like roasting dates, okay? Must have that. And also what origin that is, as well as the, the tasting profile. Here we go. So it's called a caramel toasted with cocoa, cocoa ribs, okay? So it's gonna be very, very uh, smooth and chocolatey. So I can't wait to try this. And then it comes to packaging wise. Oh, okay, so they give you a little clip. Nice touch there. Yep, uh, they are airtight. Actually really nice. I, I love the packaging. Uh, so it's 12 ounces. By the way, I figure out why, okay, I figure out why uh, your, whenever you buy coffee from online, they only give you 12 ounce. Now, because they usually sell you by pound, because you, usually they sell you by pound if you go elsewhere, but whenever you buy the mail order, 12 ounce. Because the USPS, their upper limit is at 15 ounce. No, hold on, not 15 ounce, uh, 13 ounce is their upper limit to ship out the package as first class. So, so that's why most copies you guys are buying from online, 12 ounce or under. So it's just a little tip there. Okay, so this morning I'm going to dial the dialing in smart uh, espresso beans. You know what? Okay, since most of you out there have Brista Express, so I'm going to be using uh, Brista Express with the built-in grinder, okay? Because I know you guys see me with uh, built-in grinder all the time, but I think I think we dialed, uh, dialed in just right. We're going to get some really great shot out of this. So this morning, I'm going to be using 17 gram. Let's see here. Here I go. I'm going to be using 17 gram here this morning again. And then uh, let's, so my grinder setting, if you guys like to know, I'm going to set at number seven here and the inner board at number six. So. So that's my go-to setting whenever I start my new beans. Okay, you know what? Hold on a second. Got my scissors. Okay. By the way, it smells great. It smells fantastic. This is more like definitely medium to darker roast there, medium to dark. Yeah, it looks really good. You know what, let's do uh, 18 gram, okay? Let's do 18. So I'm gonna be using my dosing cup from Crema. So let's do 18 gram of beans. Okay. I'm making a mess this morning. 17, 18.6. I mean, if you haven't bought a scale yet, just make sure you get one, okay? And 
because it's really healthier or dial than your uh, espresso. So I got 18.6 gram. Just gonna and also I like to tap like this get all the beans out okay so I put 18 gram in I have a uh, 17.56 gram out which means inside has some more beans in there so I'm just gonna tap some more okay, okay. I know this is silly but so I got 17.8 gram out. So it, it does retain some beans. So I'm okay with the 17.8. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe my, just make sure warm up your machine in the morning. Uh, give it about half an hour, okay? Uh, it's gonna make your life a little easier. You're gonna get a better shot quality. I'm just gonna go like so. Just tap a little bit. So again, there's no static issues with this cup so far. I've been using it for a few days. Okay, I'm just gonna distribute and temp. So I'm going to start, uh, let's see. I'm gonna start time when I see the first drop this time. And I'm, I'm shooting for around 35 to 38 gram range there. Okay, I'm just gonna hit up my shot glass. By the way, someone asked me, do I like Acme cups versus not neutral? It's, I mean, depend on the, what I drink. I mean, that's, that's tough call. I really enjoy both glasses. So that's why I have both, okay? But if you're gonna pick one, daily use. If you like to drink latte, uh, I think I go with, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm, unfortunately I like them both, so, okay, I'm just gonna, got my scale ready, okay, give you guys a good view here, okay, so, so this is my first time dialing in, so let's see how it goes. I'm, I'm just re <coughs> using the standard mode. Pressure is around one o'clock range there. Beautiful crema. I'm looking for 35, no, 36 gram around there. Oops. Oh, there we go. Look at the beautiful, beautiful crema. Man. Okay, so around 42 grams. It's okay. Got 24, 24 seconds. Around 20 seconds. But let's try this. Okay. That is one beautiful shot. Okay, there we go. So I know I've been getting a lot of messages from the the barista owners uh last few days i know some of me out there having a really hard time dialing the shot okay i know even some oh goodness uh, one of my uh, viewers from instagram as well uh he from uk uh, he told me that he has let's say rocket espresso machine with the eureka special leader minion also he's having a hard time too so uh the the, the key is Okay, first of all, you need to have the freshest beans as possible. And there comes, I mean, even my Brewster Express, yes, it is it's not the best uh, espresso machine, but what it does, pretty decent job. Here you go, cheers. Okay. Little sour. I mean, a little sour there, so I need to slow down a little bit. But overall, very well balanced. Okay, let, let's do one more, okay? So I'm gonna tweak some stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
heat up my, uh, I'm going to change my water temperature. So water temperature, here's what I do. Program button, power button. Right now, I'm at the standard. I'm going to go plus two. So I'm going to plus two for my water temperature. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm just going to stay with the same grinder setting. Again, if you are using fresh roasted beans, this puck come out perfectly. There's no messy. All right, I'm just going to flush out here. I mean, this is why I really prefer freshly roasted beans over uh, store-bought beans. That seems a lot easier to dial in the coffee there. Someone asked me, what's the perfect cup size? I, I prefer 8 to 10 ounce. So, I mean, that's really I really enjoy. Okay, so last time I did 17.5 gram. So, this time I'm going to up my dose up to 18 gram. Okay, so let's do up to 18 gram. So, the way to do that is, unfortunately, I have to kind of like overfill a little bit. So, like 18.5 so I can get 18 gram out. So let's do that one more time. So we're going to do 18. So we do 18.2, 18.3 gram. So there's a two way to uh, slow down your shot. What I mean by that is that you can uh, extract more uh, dosing amounts and the grinder size. Because with uh, Brista Express has only 16 grinder setting, the one step is a huge difference there. So. I mean, because I only need to slow down a tiny bit, so I up my dose a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more. Okay, so earlier I got 17.5, so this time I'm at exactly 18 grams. So we are good to go on dosing amounts. So our goal is right now we are going to slow down the shot by a tiny bit, which means we are going to get extract more flavor. Okay, go from here. And then, oh, and then I'm going to distribute. Now, it comes to distribution tools, <clears throat> just get any of them. And uh, I prefer to use the San Anthony, but you know, just the regular distribution tool is fine as well. But just make sure consistent, okay? All right, so let's give it a shot. We're gonna do the same as the last time. Flush my group head and some heat up my cup for a second all right okay so this time I'm gonna do is a manual mode okay I'm gonna do manual mode this time so manual mode just simply hold down your single or double button until whenever you are ready just release it Okay, I've got my weight set up here. Here we go. I'm just going to start my pre-infusion by holding it. There we go. The pressure really looks good. Man, this shot is a little faster than last time, 14 seconds. So if I'm going to add back in the pre-infusion time, you're looking at around like mid 20 seconds. So what? I mean, shot looks good. Okay. Okay. So let's try this. Let's try the shot. Because uh, all your shot was a little sour, but here we go. Smells really nice as well. 
a lot brighter, bringing out all so much flavor there as well. It's sweet. Actually, they are quite nice, okay? So, I mean, so that's how I dialed in my shot in the morning. So, something like that, that seems like to me the shot was a little bit fast. But again, so next thing I have to do is, so next thing is I have to change my grinder size to, I mean, right now, number seven. So, which means if you want a more flavor out, go down to number six, okay? And then you kind of like play with, again, the, you can play with the grinder size, dosing amount, and then lastly, your water temperature. So, uh, let's say any questions about, yeah, okay. But again, the overall shots are just fantastic. Fantastic. And hang on, I have a lot of questions. Um, have you tasted, David wants to know, have you tasted coffee from Peru? I have had their essence of coffee. They roast their coffee differently in Peru. Okay, so, so, so David asked me about, uh, so this, this is the first time I ever had coffee from Peru, okay? So this is a water washed. I mean, this is actually really, really nice. Beautiful flavor. Yeah, this is fantastic. Fantastic, so I, mean, I really like it a lot. Julie said 20 seconds, including pre-infusion. So, so because I time my shots uh, when I uh, saw the first drop hits, so if you're looking at the ad, anywhere between five to seven to 10 seconds top of that, so you're looking at between what, 25 and 30 second range there. You know what, let's do one more, okay? So let's do one more shot. Yeah, and then this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start time when I start the button, okay? So meantime, I'm gonna change my grinder setting as well. I'm gonna go down to number six. By the way, if you are using hopper, Okay, if you are using hopper for your uh, Brista Express, whenever you are going down the lower your size, make sure you have to run your grinder, okay? Just like that. Run it and go lower it. If not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna change your grinder setting because all the bins in the between your gears, it's not gonna do anything. So make sure if you are using the hopper, Make sure run the grinder and go down. Going up doesn't really matter, but if you're going down, yeah, you need to, okay? You, you need to do that as well. I'm back, okay. What was the question? Doesn't increasing the water temperature make the shot go faster? It will increase the water temperature, actually uh, go down slower because... You have the same question. So someone asked me about the water temperature. Uh, correct me, I'm wrong, guys. The hot water is get, you are going to extract more out. So which means you are going to slow down the shot. So that's what I understand it. But I know some of you, some of you out there, experts out there, uh, let me know about that. Okay, so I'm just going to, we're gonna do one more. So I'm gonna, I just go down to change grinder setting to number six. I'm just gonna heat up my shot glass one more time. So by the way, so we are doing all this just to using built-in grinder and Brista Express, okay? So, I mean, if a lot of people out there, if this machine cannot make good espresso, it all depends on, you know, how you set them up, but I think it does a pretty decent job. Yes, I do enjoy my Rancholia Servia, but if you are new to the Brista Express, I mean, this is more than capable. Okay, so, uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm gonna go back to 17.5 gram again. Could you do a bottomless quarter filter extraction too, if you have the time? You know what, let's, you know what? let's do bottomless right now. Someone asked me about the bottomless extraction. It'd be fun to do. Okay, so, so with the bottomless quarter filter, I don't have to warm up, uh, I don't have to warm up the peer filter much because Bottom is all exposed, so yeah, let's do that here. I'm just gonna. Oh, no, no. Uh, someone asked me, sour means 
No, it's not as sour like vinegary, but it's slightly like sour taste. So it's more like sweet sour rather than bold. So it's hard to explain to you, but that's something you have to really try. But so this time we're gonna use bottomless portal filter. I haven't done it in a while. Okay. I mean they're really tricky to use. Um, is water temperature retained after change? Yeah. Uh, so water temperature, whenever you change your water temperature, that remembers it until you reset your uh, program. So yes, it does remember, okay. So this time I'm gonna do 17.5. So whenever I do 17.5, I put about like 17.7 gram or so. Let's do one more. Make sure all the beans are out. I'm going to address that. Okay, someone asked me about the Brista Pro. So let me pull the shot and then I'm going to explain to you how to fix it. Okay. <clears throat> so right now I got 17.8 grams. So I'm just going to take out a little bit. So this is really good for having a dosing cup you can actually get the dosing amounts you want. I know this is somewhat ridiculous. I'm using a backup spoon to take the beans out, you know, grounds out, but you're gonna get the ideas. Okay, 17, you know what, let's start with a 17.6 gram. Okay. Someone says, when you say sweet, what kind of sweetness are you referring to in coffee? Okay, someone asked me about the, whenever espresso is sweet, Actually, it does taste sweet, okay? It's like sweet taste of coffee. So, I mean, that's, that's the great thing about the espresso, especially coffee. Coffee is a lot more complex than wine. It comes to a, a tasting profile, so. I mean, you're really gonna have really fun with it. Okay, I'm just gonna tap it. Okay. Let me just put it away for a second. Okay, so let me distribute this. This is bottomless portal filter, so I have no place to fit. I'm just I have to use my tamping station here. Okay, just gonna distribute, and I'm gonna temp. Okay, here we go. That person says, is it like chocolate sweet or sugary sweet? Uh, chocolate sweet. Okay, so. I get have a really great shot, the great looking shot, 50% of the time. So that's how it goes this time, okay? This is great thing about the live show. I cannot cheat this. If you are watching an edited video, sometimes I, I, I know a lot of creators are, take a couple shots and take the best one, but for you guys, you guys are going to see the unfiltered view of extraction, okay? So I'm going to, so this time I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do manual mode. And I'm going to start time when uh, first drop hits again. Okay, good. It's still going to be fun here. I can't, hold on, this is going to be a little tricky to show you guys, but hopefully you guys see it okay there. Can you see it on the screen? Yeah. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna start time when I, uh, whenever I first drop hit. Here we go. And I'm looking for, again, around 35, 36 grand. Okay, so far looks good. 
Give it a full power. Okay, so man, beautiful cremas there. Lots and lots of great crema. There's some channeling. Around 20 seconds. So I mean that shot overall looks pretty good, okay? I see some channeling there by, you know, score some uh, coffee there, espresso, but overall this is pretty clean shot, okay? Not too bad. Okay. So, but again, I mean, do, doesn't matter how beautiful your shot is, it's ultimately the taste, okay? And when it comes to shot quality, this is pretty good. Smells wonderful. Here you go, cheers. It's really good. I think this is the best one yet so far. Okay, uh, somebody asked me about the, the taste of sweetness. If you, <clears throat> if you do the uh, well balanced shot, it's not okay. So first of all, it's not bitter or sour, okay? Because you know what bitter and sour means, and hopefully you do. And the, the, which means that this is kind of like between there, pretty smooth. And what else? You can actually taste the, the cocoa. The it's not the it's not the sweet cocoa, but just you know one of those dark chocolate flavor with a, a like seventy five percent cocoa flavor. I can actually taste that as well. So. So this is how I kind of like dialed in with Krista Express. <clears throat> so again, grinder setting, the dosing amount, and then if you are up to it, play with the water temperature. All those features, I mean, very easy to access it. Okay, very easy to do it. So let's see. And uh, earlier, some, uh, some uh, Brista Pro owner asked me about whenever I pull the shot, I only get 15 seconds, <clears throat> which means you are in the default setting because Brista Express or Pro or <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't really matter because it has the, they use a value metric and time. So whenever it goes beyond the time, the shuts up automatically. So something like that happens to you, you need to reprogram your shots, okay? So what I like to do is I like to make, I'm gonna set the grinder setting Pull the shot, so you have to waste the first shot anyway, okay? You're going to waste that shot, but set around like, let's say between like 40 and 50 sec second range there. So whenever you're using your scale, you can just stop automatically. So you're gonna pass beyond that 15 seconds. Okay, I hope that helps. I hope that helps. <clears throat> okay, look like we got some other questions too. Uh, Julie asking me on offer up has flare for 100. Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, if you, if you have time to play flare, I mean, they're really fun to use, but they're a little, I mean, if you're willing to do that, sure. I mean, that's a pretty good price. Uh, which flare though? Uh, Julie, which flare they're offering up? Is it the Neo model or there's something nicer one? Because you can get a brand new Neo for hundred bucks right now, so so I need to find out what she's she's getting for Flair. Because Flair has like three different models there. Okay, so looking at the puck again, come up perfectly. So if you guys can uh, get a freshly roasted coffee, you're gonna you're gonna have a really good time using it. Okay, so we got, I'm going to take some few more questions here. <clears throat> so somebody says, do you suggest freezing whole milk and then melting it and after that frothing it? People say it makes the milk more creamy. What are your views? Okay, someone told me, okay, someone in the chat room say some people likes to freeze the whole milk and deep frost and frothing the milk. Yeah. And technically, yes, that makes sense because you want to be the cold cold milk as possible, but I mean, that's a lot of work for one cup of coffee. So, I mean, yeah, do it. You know, if you have time to do it, yes, that's a great idea. Julie says it just says flare 
espresso maker normal. Okay, so make sure find uh, Julie. Uh, just make sure find out what model. Okay, if it's the Neo model, no, it's not a good price. Um, Sally <coughs> says, "What made you buy the Rancholito, and are you happy with it?" Someone asked me, "Am I happy with the Rancholito Trivia?" Rancholito Trivia was my kind of like ideal machine. Okay. Good compromise between uh, like heat exchange and dual boiler. So I thought, okay, here's what happened. Okay, I thought it's gonna be upgrade from Bristol Express, Rancholio Serbia, as you can see from here. I thought it's gonna be a good upgrade, but it's not. Okay, if you are looking at if you if you want a Bristol Express, you want to upgrade to Rancholio Serbia. For my recommendation, don't. Okay, it's not worth upgrading to Rancholio Serbia. So this machine is just fine. But if you want to upgrade, definitely check, uh, check out the Rancholio Serbia, no, the Pro model, okay? The Pro model is dual boiler. Uh, if not, make sure look for heat exchange machine or dual boiler. That is a proper upgrade from Brista Express. Oh, make sure don't forget the dual boiler from Brabber as well. So that's good upgrade. But uh, Brista Express to Rancholio Serbia, no, it's not. But Go ahead. How many grams of coffee and espresso shot should be for a single dose? Uh, so single dose. How many grams of coffee for espresso? For single shots? Mm -hmm. Someone asking me about, uh, is it up to you guys? Because I don't do single shots anymore. Okay, someone asked me what's the good dose for single. I mean, you can go with uh, 10 gram in, like 20 gram out for your single shots there. It's, again, it's all up to you. It's all up to you for your taste bud, okay? But I don't use my single shot baskets because they're really, really hard to dial in. So I prefer double shot. But okay, here's, if you, if you want to use single shot, uh, use the pressurized baskets. Make your life a lot easier with that. Okay, it's a pressurized basket for like uh, single shots. Would it be a good pair with the Rancholio Silvia or would I need a better grinder? Okay, so Smart Grinder Pro, you, uh, someone asked me, Smart Grinder Pro, Rancholio Silvia is a good match? Yes, and they're a pretty good match as well. But, but they're two separate, okay? The, the thing is, obviously higher end grinder is better for your coffee, period. If I'm gonna match with my niche with Brista Express, I get a much better shot than built-in grinder. How can we remove it by, or do you suggest using low pressure only? Okay. If you are going to pull the shot, just a low pressure with the uh, with Brista Express, you do not get any channeling, okay? Uh, because I think last time I did a video on just the pre-infusion only with a uh, bottomless pour filter, you got no channeling. So if you want to play with that, I'm just pleased to do so. It's, it's a lot of fun to do it. But yes, uh, Bravo Brista Express, I don't know what's the, how many bars of pressure whenever you go full blast. They're pretty powerful. It's, I think that definitely more than nine bar for sure. When you say that you are seeing some channeling, what exactly are you looking for? So channeling means it's a kind of like uneven, the grind size, so it's not comes down uniformly. So shot is kind of like go through, you know, because they ha since the, the baskets are pressurized inside with the grinder size, so the water has to find a way to go out. So the even grinder or grind side is better for your shot. But comes to taste, can you tell the taste difference between channeling shot versus perfect shot? Most likely not. I mean, with me, I don't think I cannot tell, so. Um, a viewer says, Hoon, I had a trip to Korea planned this year, but was canceled because of COVID. Okay. I plan on going next year. Any good coffee shop recommendations? Not sure if you've been back there recently. Okay, so I haven't been to Korea in about 15 years now, so it's been a while. But ever since when I was there, coffee shop wasn't the thing, but now, 
man, if you go to Korea, you're going to have a really good time with drinking great coffee. So, I mean, most coffee shops in Korea, you know, well-known ones, they roast their own coffee. So, I mean, they're amazing. I mean, this, if you go to a Korean coffee shop, most cafes, they are using the, the top of the line equipment. It's on rear. So, yeah, you're going to have some really, really good coffees there. YouTube's a good place to find different coffee shops. Uh, so, by the way, uh, if you want to look for a good coffee shop, uh, check out YouTube channel. Not my channel, but, you know, check out other Korean coffee shop. In Korea, there's, the, what's popular is that this coffee shop videos. They are video vlogging. And they're extremely popular, so yeah, make sure to check out the Korean coffee channels. They're really interesting. Um, how do you change your recipe to get the best out of different coffee beans? Okay, someone asked me how can I ch how do I how can I change my recipe to get out of best uh, from the different coffee beans? I mean, like this one here. So what if I look at this? So what if I look at whatever it says with the espresso blend? which means more for milk-based drink. So most likely they are medium to darker roast. So something like that, uh, I try to, uh, that, that's hard to explain, okay? Because something like that, I just go with like maybe plus two temperature maybe or standard temperature. By the way, uh, PID on this machine is not the best, okay? It, it's not precise. That in general, okay, so we got plus two and plus four, minus two and minus four. So it's, it does not give you a lot of options, but a lot better than my Rancholia Serbia, though. Rancholia Serbia does not have PID, so you cannot control any temperature there. You have to call it temperature surfing. You have to uh, surf the temperature, so. Um, any reason that you don't care for Delonghi? Uh, someone asked me, any reason for, I don't care for DeLonghi. I'm not a big fan of a DeLonghi because uh, Brista Express, they're proven. Okay? I mean, you know, they've been around for a long time. The DeLonghi, DeLonghi, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, they only comes with the pressurized baskets. Okay? I know some of them you could get the uh, non-pressurized basket, but with this one, they give you all the baskets. So, and plus, I don't seem a lot because I used DeLonghi before. Uh, my one of my friend has it, and I, I wasn't that impressed. That doesn't mean they are bad. I guess I prefer this one. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna take a few more questions, and um, we be we should be good to go. Any coffee channels you recommend? Okay, someone asked me any coffee channels I recommend. I think I did that yesterday, but obviously you guys know James Hoffman. Everybody, everybody knows James. No, for coffee, Korean, Korean coffee. Oh, Korean for coffee channel. Coffee shops. Korean coffee shops. It's the same viewer that said they're going to Korea. Okay, so man, I'm not sure. I mean, they got a lot of great coffee shop in Korea. Okay. Just look around YouTube. I mean, look around YouTube. I know Aya Coffee is top of my head here. Aya Coffee. They're like franchising Korea coffee shops. So definitely check it out. And then one of my favorite channels is uh, Namja Coffee. Namja Coffee is also a really good coffee channel. Yeah, Namja means men's coffee. So I know. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh, he has a really good channel. Fun channel as well. Okay, my wife's going through some questions to the side. They said that, could you please explain how to program Barista Pro programming method? You don't have okay, to. so someone asked me to show you uh, how to program Barista Pro. Uh, you know what? Do you know who has the Barista Pro channel? That's the Lifestyle Lab. Uh, I think he's from Canada. Uh, he has an entire video on Barista Pro, I believe, okay? And so make sure to check out his channel as well, uh, Lifestyle Lab. Yeah, he, he does have pro, so maybe you should reach out to him. Hopefully he's a really, uh, really nice guy. So I talked to him once, but yeah, he seems nice. Have you ever used Starbucks Blonde Espresso Roast Beans? If yes, what grind setting? Okay, someone asked me, have I tried the Starbucks Blonde? Yes, I did try their Blondie Roast Coffee. 
even though it's, it's a light roast, it, okay, it's, Starbucks are light means it's medium to us, okay, for me. And uh, they're really fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Uh, for my coffee, uh, I set at number six, okay, for the my uh, grinder setting here to the side. And then my inner burr, I, I set at number five, okay. That doesn't mean it's going to be the same goes for you, but that's a good starting point. Do you repent upgrading to Rancho Sylvia? Am I regret upgrading to Rancho Leo? You know what? Not really, because uh, my plan is... I'm going to take my Rancho Leo Silvia to work. Right now, I have a Rancho Leo S24 at my shop right now. That's a heat exchange machine. I've been using it for the last few days. And they are fantastic. They're old machine, okay? Uh, Rancho Leo S24 is like over 25 years old, but works great. But yeah, so my plan is, uh, that's a loaner. So I'm going to take that one back uh, next few months. But meantime, I'm going to keep using Silvia at home take this one to my shop and hopefully replace with heat exchange or a dual boiler. But I'm still going to keep my Brista Express though. What temperature and amount of water have to be, what does the temperature and amount of water to be for an Americano? Someone asked me about the Americano recipe. Oh goodness, that is also a great question. I mean, what I do is I put the double espresso anywhere between Let's see, uh, 40, uh, like 35 and 40 gram there. And then I'm going to add maybe like six ounces of water, six to eight ounces of water, hot water. That's what I like. But it's, I mean, most people are different. So that's a good starting point. That's why having a right cup size is important. Okay. Because, so this is not neutral cup. This is a six ounce cup. Hold on a second. So. So this is a eight ounce cup from non-neutral. This is 12 ounce cup. So it's all depend on the cup size. Uh, if, you, you are, if you like to drink just regular coffee, uh, scare and measure it, or, or start put the espresso and start put hot water in it until you like the uh, right taste. So that's also pretty good as well. Dane asks, have you tried a chai latte and are they popular in the US? Uh, Dane asked me, is chai latte pretty popular in the U.S.? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Okay. I, I, I never had a chai latte, but yeah, I think, you know, it's, I think, I know Starbucks does that, so it must be popular. Yeah. I have the dose control grinder and I'm on one on the outside and three inside settings, but the shot is still fast. Any recommendations? Okay. Someone, someone has a dose grind control. Outside at one and inner bar at three. Mm -hmm. Okay, go down to one. Okay, inside and see what happens. And I think that's the pretty good starting point there. If they're still too fast, which means you might want to replace the burr inside the inner burr. And I think I have a video on that yesterday. So you might want to do that as well. Um, how do you get a dry puck after brewing the coffee like you did? Mine always wet. And okay. Okay, so someone asked me about uh, my, my puck has always been dry because so this one, Brisa Express has built in the back flush with a three-way solenoid as well and to suck out the water, okay, from the puck. So you are going to get, most times you're going to get really dry puck, but if you are using, if you, if you don't have the right dose, um, dosing amounts, and if your grind is too old, you are going to have the wet puck, okay? So it all depends on the, that doesn't mean it's bad. It's nothing to do with your coffee machine, but it's all, it's about the, your bean and how you prepare your shot. So, so that's not a big issue. Comes to wet puck because I get that sometimes. Okay, so. Does using pre-infusion only provide the same taste and quality of espresso or it makes Someone asked me, is pre-infusion only shot make it sour? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that's a great question there. I think, I think it's going to be the same taste, okay? I think it's, it's, it's the same taste. You know what? Here, here's, what we're gonna, here's what I'm going to do for you guys. Since uh, 66 of you out there, so I'm going to put the shot pre-infusion only, okay? 
I'm going to use my bottom left pore filter. And you, you guys are going to see how beautiful shots you, you are going to see, okay? Because with the pre-infusion, only give about three bar pressure. So, so you're not going to see any channeling as well. So, so let's do it right now. I mean, I mean, so, I mean, this is why I love just like live streaming. I mean, I see a great question and I can just show you guys right away. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use the exactly same setup as before. I'm going to be using 17.5 gram. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need my cup. Yes, I have. Hold on. Someone asked me, uh, I'm going to answer that question after I'm going to pull the shot. Okay. Okay, so far this is my number four. Okay, so again, if you can get a big bag of coffee beans, because you are going to waste a lot of beans in the beginning. If you're starting to experiment. So this is why I start roasting my own beans. So, because I did waste a lot of beans in the beginning. So I'm gonna be dosing out 17 point, maybe like eight gram or so, so I can get 17.5. Okay, here. What? Okay, so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our stock, okay? I'm not going to use my fancy San Anthony industry. So I'm, I'm just going to use my uh, uh, stock temper and just regular my uh, regular distribution tool from Amazon. So you, uh, you are going to see the difference. Actually, you're not going to see a difference with this one because I'm using the pre-infusion only with the low pressure. So I got 70.5 gram out. So it's retain about 0.2 gram. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, here I go. Let's do it. Okay. Just gonna lift slowly. I'm just gonna use my just regular Amazon distribution tool, not 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 fancy. My stock distribution temper. I mean, I'm sorry, my temp. Okay, and I'm just gonna flush one more time. Okay. I'm just Clean my cup here. Okay. Again, if you are just joining me, I'm going to pull the shot using bottomless pour filter with only the pre-infusion only. Okay. And then I'm going to start time when first drop hits. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to get my. Okay, here we go. So with pre-infusion only, you have to go with your manual mode. So I'm, I'm just going to hold down the single or double button. I'm hitting down the double button there. Watch this. So this is pre-infusion shot. Hopefully they're going, they are going to, yep, one stream there. Shot looks really good. No channeling. I'm looking for around 30, here we go. 37 gram at 27 seconds. And then my question for you earlier, how it's going to taste. 
So let's find that. Okay. Okay. Overall shot looks beautiful, okay? Beautiful crema and very extremely dark there. Cheers. Wow. It's not bad, guys. It's really good. Bring out the even more chocolate notes. Yes, I think you guys might like this. So you might want to play with the pre-infusion pre only, okay? The shock quality is fantastic. There's no channeling because we are uh, extraction through low pressure. So, I mean, if you have time on weekends, if you don't want to play with the different techniques, yeah, try that, okay? Try that with Brista Express. I mean, this is the only few machine out there you can play with pre-infusion. Unless if you go with like Slayer, Slayer machine is like over 10 grand. I think with the Slayer, you can go like, you know, 30, 40 second pre-infusion if you wanted to, but I mean, this is not bad, okay? The shot quality is good. Yeah, it's fun. Why do you use one scale for weighing the beans and a different one for weighing the shot? Okay, someone asked me why I have a two scale. Because with Akaya scale, if I, I want to go to a different mode, they have five different modes. And you have to go through different modes, so it's pain. So I prefer having a two scale for the waiting my coffee and the shot timer. So, so that, that's what happens when coffee is become your hobby. You buy stuff. What porter, what porter filter is that? Which porter filter? So, so this porter filter is, uh, I got from uh, Crema Coffee Products. So they are bottomless porter filter. Yeah. And then, you know what, let's take a look at the puck quality comes to uh, pre-infusion shots. Yep, come right up as well. So, so pretty much the same. That's that's really good question though. I mean, if some if anybody out there really expert at pulling espresso, I mean, you can explain to us what's the difference between the low pressure shot versus the nine bar pressure shot. Uh, comes to my shot quality, the taste, I cannot tell the difference. It's about the same. So. I mean, it really looks good on my bottomless porter filter though. Okay, so any questions? I think, are we good? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this morning. Uh, I know it's, uh, we are running a little late here, but and then make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. But yeah, there was a lot of fun this morning. Okay, I hope, I hope you guys will learn a little bit about the machine as well. I mean, if you are frustrated with it, with the Bristol Express, just make sure have patience. It does a really good job. Comes to making great coffee. So uh, I won't be here tomorrow morning. Uh, I got I got some appointments tomorrow morning. But hopefully, maybe I see you guys maybe tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. So and, and anyway, see you guys tomorrow sometime. Not tomorrow morning.